Good afternoon. My name is Mike Queen. I'm with Mobile Power. We're here at Frazier to show the MEPS system on a, mounted on a Ford truck. Um, we have the hood open here. The, our, our generator itself is mounted on the driver's side of this particular truck right underneath the turbo hoses. It's mounted in its own bracket. We don't disturb the OEM alternators. It's just an addition to, not a replacement of. It generates three-phase power, which is the high power we need to run through our ACU box uh, to control the air conditioning and different things that are on the vehicle. It's got a 30-inch pigtail on it that has an 8-pin Anderson connector. So we have an extension cable that will take it from the generator back to the ACU box, which I'll show you in a few minutes, and all it does is plug in. So there's no cutting or wiring or anything uh, associated with this. It'll run under the truck, normally tie wrapped around the OEM wires uh, for safety. So if you'll follow me, I'll show you the ACU now. So we're, we're back here um, in the compartment where they've mounted the ACU. Um, they cut vents in the top and the bottom for airflow, so it will pull air through the inside of the cab to keep it nice and cool. Um, the generator cable that, I, that goes under the hood comes in right here. It's, once again, it's an 8-pin Anderson connector. It, it plugs right into the unit. Right beside it is your AC power out. In the ignition kit, we supply the terminals so you can connect it to your SO cable and run it where it needs to go. Once again, it's, it's plug and play after that point. The next plug here is our keyed ignition. It's also a 6-pin Anderson connector. Uh, it plugs in here and then it's connected to a keyed ignition source on the truck. That way when it's, the truck is running, we're, we're on, and when the truck shuts off, we also turn off. This is the remote panel, which I'll show you here in just a moment. It simply plugs into the box, so all the connections that go into the box do plug in. They don't wire in directly. So we're gonna to go to this next panel and I'll show you where the cables go. This is the, this is the power out cable right here. It goes up, it goes into the transfer switch They've got shore power and also the MEPS power here, so when you plug into shore power, it automatically flips over. When you unplug it, of course, it, the MEPS system starts taking over. Uh, here's the cable that runs to the remote panel. They've got it mounted right here. It's mounted back here because it's not needed in regular operation. This is strictly for uh, diagnostics and to see how the system's performing. Uh, you'll see uh, different writings on here. It, it's also got a LED bar at the bottom that tells us while it's running what percentage of power you're using in a specific RPM. So that, that helps us adjust and also know what kind of loads that it will take. It also has different things like low speed, uh, low battery, power fault, overload, and high temp converter. That tells us if there's an issue with it. So it's, um, it, and it's all self-contained um, and they've mounted it back here uh, with their electronics. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about the MEPS on a Frazier, please give Frazier a call. They'd be happy to help you.